equal justice under law. What that means to me is that every person who comes through those doors can count on being treated the same. And now we come to the Kavanaugh nomination. His nomination is a threat to people of color, to women, to workers, to the LGBTQ community, to people living in poverty. If he is appointed to the Supreme Court, we could be facing the most regressive Supreme Court since Jim Crow. Today, overwhelmingly, regardless of your political point of view, people are outraged that billionaires are buying elections. Right now, many millions of people who desperately need health care do not have the health care that Congress voted for them to have. Right now, in an outrageous situation, a frightening situation, states all over this country are suppressing the vote for poor people, for people of color, for young people. So if you think the Supreme Court's decisions are not important, then you have not followed what has gone on in recent American history. I am here because the Supreme Court expanded voting rights. I am here because the Supreme Court saw my worth and my dignity equal to others despite the color of my skin. I am here because the Supreme Court saw that workers had rights to organize, that workers had rights to, to put together to pool their energy and resources and form unions. I am here for these reasons and more. But now what's at stake is us to fully roll back these ideals. This is a time where they're trying to roll back civil rights, roll back the protections against discrimination if you have a pre-existing condition. There is so much at stake here that this has nothing to do with politics. This is to do with who we are as moral beings. As Catholics, our moral framework teaches us that those who would defend the right to life of the weakest amongst us must be equally visible and equally powerful in our defense of the quality of life for the powerless among us. Mm. I urge Senator McConnell to consider the real needs of mothers and of families in Kentucky. If we want Kentucky to be a place where women and families are prepared to welcome life into the world, then we must prioritize the needs of the poor over the wealth of corporations. The strategy of the culture war to shift the balance of the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade won't work. We know what works. Decrease poverty, you decrease abortions. I'm here because as an evangelical, I value all human life created in the image of Santo Dios, Holy God. It is striking to me that every single day immigrants spend their energy and give their life to serve the majority of dominant culture Americans, putting food on our tables, cleaning our homes, taking care of our yards, and, and most ironically, even raising our children and teaching them to speak Spanish. I fear that Latino men and women and children in our churches and barrios will suffer for generations to come if we do not take the time to question nominee Kavanaugh's commitment to protect our community's constitutional rights. The question Judge Kavanaugh must answer is this. As a Supreme Court Justice, how would your decisions ensure that the rich and the powerful do not count more than the rest of us? How would your presence on the court, Judge Kavanaugh, fulfill the mandate of being a just and generous America? Senators, as you evaluate this nominee for our nation's highest court, I ask you, are you prepared to ensure that the right to vote remains a right? Are you prepared to honor the efforts and the dreams of the American people? Are you prepared to build more democracy in this country and not less? We spend years vetting an, in an innocent terrorized refugee before allowing her to enter our country to be safe from certain death. I urge you to spend sufficient time to vet Judge Kavanaugh's history and prior decisions 
before allowing him to make decisions on our highest court that will definitely impact our economic security and the safety of our nation. I fear the devastating consequences of my senator's hypocritical hurry to confirm Brett Kavanaugh. We demand answers, Senator McConnell, to this rushed, politicized process. Every American should be concerned that Judge Kavanaugh has written that a president should be able to deem laws unconstitutional and not enforce them even if a court has found the law is constitutional. Now, I'm not a constitutional law lawyer, Senator Warren is, but if I am not mistaken, that undermines everything in the United States Constitution. With this vote, we could have an extreme court that would undermine voting rights, workers' rights, the rights of the poor, women's rights, LGBTQ rights, public education, health care, immigrant rights, and the future of our democracy. In the light of this, there must be a moral fight to keep Kavanaugh off the Supreme Court because we must fight to protect the deep moral foundations of our Constitution. This is a fight for the very soul of our country. We must raise our voices as we have never raised them before. In, in a moral moment, there is no bystanders. You are either complicit in the evil, you are either contributing to the wrong, or you are fighting against it. And now I call on everybody to believe now that you can make a difference. Do not underestimate your power. Do not surrender your agency. This is the time to speak up. This is the time to wake up. This is the time to act up. This is the time to get in some trouble. And we must in this moment send a resounding no to this Kavanaugh appointment. We are called to act, to feed the hungry, to give water to the thirsty, to clothe the naked, to visit those in prison. That is our job. The scriptures are clear that when it comes to public policy, woe unto those who legislate evil and rob the poor and women and children of their rights. The scripture is clear that a nation must make sure that its laws lift the hungry, the hopeless, the poor, the sick, the naked, and the least of these, and the stranger. It is very clear. This issue is not about left versus right. It is about right versus wrong. And it's time for us to stand up.